Hello, everyone. My name is Jake Walker. I'm a cloud security engineer here at Checkpoint Software Technologies. And today we're going to be going over how to onboard intelligence into your CloudGuard CSPM console. This is going to give us the ability to visualize our traffic activity within our AWS environment. Now, to start this process off, we need to go to the Assets tab on the left-hand side. And this will open up our environments page where we can see all of our AWS accounts, Azure subscriptions, GCP projects, and possibly Kubernetes clusters as well. In this demo, we're gonna be focusing on AWS and enabling traffic activity. So you can see on the right-hand side here, I have the green check mark since mine's already activated, but I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to do this from scratch. So we'll select our AWS account in which we want to monitor uh, the traffic of. We'll drill into that and in the top right portion we can see an option for add intelligence there's going to be a couple different options here ranging from flow logs to cloud trail to cloud trail organizations in this case we're going to be focusing on the flow logs because we want to monitor that traffic activity so i'll select the flow logs option and this will take me to the wizard now we have two modes for onboarding uh flow logs into our cloud guard console we have the standard onboarding which is onboarding flow log resources from a single account and we can onboard multiple buckets, but all the logs need to originate from that same cloud account. Now, if we're taking all of our flow logs and sending them to a single centralized S3 bucket, we'd wanna follow the custom onboarding steps. But in reality, they're very similar and we're gonna be going through the standard onboarding procedure here. So I'll select next with that radio button selected. And this brings us to the prerequisite stage. And the prerequisite stage is mainly gonna be done in the AWS console. As you can see, I have my AWS console open over here, but we do give you full instructions on how to do this. Now, all we're really doing is creating an S3 bucket and creating a flow log, either on a VPC, a subnet or an ENI and telling AWS to send all those flow logs to that S3 bucket that we just created. We then grant CloudGuard an IAM policy that gives it the ability to read into that S3 bucket so that we can populate the information within CloudGuard. Now, if we read these, we can see uh, we need to be logging all our traffic from a VPC subnet ENI in our flow log, not just the accepted or rejected, because we want to monitor that rejected traffic as well. Our log destination needs to be an S3 bucket. The flow logs were created with the appropriate role, basically with permission to publish to the S3 bucket. That's really going to be done for us on the AWS side, and I'll show you where it says that. And then uh, the flow log record format needs to be the AWS default format because that is what CloudGuard is expecting. So let's go down to step one here. Uh, basically, we're just going to be creating an S3 bucket and copying the buckets ARN. So in this case, I'll jump over to my AWS management console here, go to services, storage, S3. This will take us to the S3 service where I can then create that bucket. It's important to note that this cloud account I'm operating in right here, it's of course already onboarded into CloudGuard. Now from here, let's create a bucket. Uh, we can name it really whatever we want. In my case, I'm just gonna name it Jake Walker Checkpoint Flow Logs. And we'll keep it in the US East region. Once again, you could choose really wherever you wanna put this um, and we'll leave everything as default and I'll create this bucket. Now we could modify encryption settings and things like that, of course, um, uh, but I'm just keeping it default to keep it simple. Um, so this Jake Walker checkpoint flow logs bucket I just created, I need to copy that ARN and that would be located under the properties tab here. So I'll copy that just to keep it handy. And then we can come back to the instructions here and you'll see I've created the S3 bucket. I've copied uh, the ARN to my clipboard. And now I need to go to the VPCs page and actually create the flow log and send it to that bucket. So I'll come over here, I'll go to my services once again, and we'll head over to VPC. Now this is a very important piece of this onboarding process, right? Because uh, we may not want to monitor all the traffic in our VPC or even all the traffic within a subnet. Um, so we can really choose to uh, attach that flow log to even something as uh, 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 unique as an ENI or an elastic network interface. But we may not want to monitor all the east-west traffic or, or uh, certain internal traffic going in on our VPCs or subnets. Um, so we can be very uh, specific in what we want to monitor. For instance, maybe I only want to monitor this AWS CHKP VPC and not this other VPC up here because this VPC's traffic is not interesting to me. Maybe it's just internal traffic. So I'll select this particular VPC here and I'll go to the flow logs tab. You'll see I've already created some um, and I will select create flow log. 
Now from here, uh, I can name my flow log. I'll just name it uh, Jake Walker Checkpoint Flow Log. And this is an important piece right here. By default, AWS is going to say only uh, uh, capture the accepted traffic. We actually want to monitor all the traffic so we can get information on, on the traffic that's being rejected as well. And in the destination part, we don't want to send it to CloudWatch logs. We want to send it to that uh, S3 bucket that we just created earlier. So I'll paste that bucket's ARN right here. And of course, we want to leave it as the AWS default format. This format is something that CloudGuard will understand. So we'll leave it as is. And I'll select create flow log here. So now we've created a flow log, uh, the Jake Walker checkpoint flow log here. We're filtering for all. Our destination is going to be an S3 bucket and it's that S3 bucket we just created. I'll hop back to my AWS onboarding here and select next. Now we need to create a policy that actually gives CloudGuard uh, the ability um, to read into that S3 bucket, right? Because it doesn't have the permissions to do that right now. Um, that policy is located right here. Uh, get object, um, uh, get notified when new objects go in that bucket and then describe the subscription filter. So we'll copy this to our clipboard and we'll take us back into our AWS console here. Of course, we're gonna need to go under the IAM service for this piece. So I'll jump in there. And from here, we're going to need to create a new policy, right? And in order to do that, we'll go to create policy right here. We'll flip it over to JSON and we'll paste in the policy that we took from the Cloud Guard console. We can go next here. We can add a tag if we want to. We can give it a name. I'll just call it Cloud Guard Intelligence Policy can give it a description if you want to. This shows you exactly what it's able to do against your different services. And we'll click create policy. Cool. So now that we've created that policy, we need to add that policy to the role we used to originally onboard um, uh, uh, the AWS accounts into the CloudGuard platform. So I'll come over here to roles. And you can see here that I've already added the role uh, into, or the policy into the role um, that I used to onboard. But if you hadn't done that, of course, you would just select attach policies and simply attach the policy um, uh, you created in the last step, which would be this Cloud Guard Intelligence policy. I'm not going to duplicate policies here, um, but basically you just attach that policy. So mine's already attached to the role that I used to onboard. So I'll come back to the uh, Cloud Guard console here and I'll select next. This is just checking for S3 buckets that have flow logs uh, being sent to them within your AWS account. You can see the flow log bucket that I already had connected here, and you can see the new one that is now ready to connect. So I'll select the checkbox and I'll select next. It's running some basic tests here, making sure that it has access to that bucket. Um, and now it is connected. So. Uh, that is essentially the process for onboarding um, intelligence, the traffic activity portion of an AWS account into CloudGuard. So thanks for taking the time to watch this. Uh, looking forward to the next one. I'll talk to you guys soon.